So what be kind, children? Mother Verudi here. Today I want to talk to you about the law of attraction. We've all heard about the secret. We've heard about manifestation. We've heard about thoughts becoming things or thoughts shaping your reality. What is it really about? <sighs> Ever since my spiritual awakening, I've become more aware of the thoughts I have and my subconscious beliefs and my point of view and how I talk, complain, or gossip. I think it's so important to think good thoughts. Whatever we put out comes back to us. Anytime you say anything about yourself or other people, you are casting a spell. And what is this thing about vibration? I've been listening to a lot of Abraham Hicks and it's actually quite simple. It's about feeling good. It's about thinking thoughts that are good. They have this concept about the vortex. It's basically this idea that anything that you ever want and this, any desire you have, it already re exists in this vibrational reality. And the way you manifest it into the physical realm is to be at a vibrational match to it. I, I mean, you know, I'm just thinking about Christianity and how you know, we pray and we pray for things and hoping that God will answer us and kind of give it to us. But it's like, where where does this come from? And, you know, is God just going to make a car magically appear in your home? When we think about faith and belief that this thing we want is already ours and that God will and must deliver. Then what happens? They deliver. <sighs> Ooh, I have the chills. Just, oh, I don't know, just... It's so important to think thoughts that make you feel good. For example, I am exactly where I need to be. The universe is conspiring to bring me joy. I am successful. I always get what I need. I'm exactly where I need to be. We are so hard on ourselves and it's unnecessary. Also, things like complaining or whenever something bad happens and feeling this slight or judgment or negativity, we think that that is appropriate because it just happened to us. But what does it actually do? It creates a low vibration. And if you get stuck and continue to perpetuate that negativity, more and more of it will come into your reality. Everything in your life, you have created it by your thoughts, whether you have realized it or not. I think of people who are successful or come from wealthy families. Some people, 
they ingrain into their children how smart, how capable, how successful and privileged and worthy they are. And what do they end up doing? Being successful. A lot of times people from lower income or, you know, people who are not as successful, they don't know any better. They just teach the children to strive for less or to equate that suffering and pain equals success. When that is not true, it is merely a belief. If you want to do and achieve and create greatness, you must first believe it and know it and feel the worthiness of life, of God, of who you are. Oh my God. Ooh. What I want you to know is how beautiful and worthy and loved you are. A lot of spiritual teachers talk about if you only knew how powerful you were. It is so true. Like, have you truly connected to the divine source, to who you really are, to the powers that move earths and create galaxies? Have you tapped into that power? We limit ourselves so much. We get caught up in these negative cycles. We worry. We stress. We are anxious. We do so much to cut off the source from who you really are. And I get it, sometimes you have bad days. Sometimes you just need a little nap. Sometimes you need a long, deep sleep. Sometimes you need to go on a vacation. I get it, life happens, things get into our way. And that is okay. And sometimes there is nothing you can do about your vibration and you just gotta sit it out. I get it, I get it. But for the most part, before you sleep, when you wake up, you have the ability to choose great thoughts, to meditate, to have gratitude, to dream, wish, believe, and know what you want from life. And whatever you expect, life will deliver. You expect nothing, life will give you nothing. You expect greatness, life will give you. It's not about the material things. It's not about being rich. It's not about, you know, designer bags, whatever. It's not about that. It's That is a result. That is a part of this powerful thing we call manifestation and there's nothing wrong with it but just know that getting that is not going to completely fulfill you you'll be happy for a short time but it's about this constant expansion this growth this never ever getting it done like abraham likes to say there is never getting it done so don't beat yourself up for what you haven't done or what you know whatever hasn't happened it's all good you're exactly where you need to be all the BS in the past has only created more contrast and rockets of desires and helped you to find out what you really want so there's no regrets, there's no beating yourself up for the past. Everything has brought you to this point and everything has a purpose. I hope this helps you to become more aware of your thoughts and your vibration and how you feel so that you will be able to manifest 
the things in your life that you want. Life is amazing. You are powerful. And the universe is abundant. Trust, believe, have faith, know who you are and what you want. And it will come into your life. <sighs> Love you all. Namaste. Sadhu. Thy will be done. It is done. It is done. It is done. Think universe. A shame. This has been wonderful. You got this. Mwah. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs>